Hi guys, it's been a while since the last time we talked, but the truth is, I missed you. Yeah, yeah, I miss you. I miss you guys. Um, today I decided to film because a lot of you guys, a lot of my patrons actually, I I guess this is the story. A couple of weeks ago, I asked my patrons what type of videos they would like to see in my channel. And most of them said they would like to see me walking around Hastings or like um, one day in the life of Fran. It sounds really boring. Uh, most of my days consist in just like sitting in my desk working and not doing something in particular, but working. But today it's going to be an exciting, exciting day because Ed and I decided to work outside. We never... We don't do this very often, but sometimes when we don't have to work in front of a computer, we go to this really cozy and lovely coffee shop um, in Hastings. I think it's called number 23, if I'm not mistaken. And it's one of my favorite coffee shops in Old Town. So if you're in Hastings, please go there because the coffee is amazing. Uh, so today we're going to go there and work. And later today we're going to go to London. So that will be really, really exciting. I want to show you though, a couple of things that I am working on right now, because since I am not posting so frequently in YouTube anymore, or at least during this year, uh, until the end of this year, I realized that the cool thing will be to actually show you what I'm doing. Of course, I can't show you pages of the book because of a contract. <laughs> um, but um, I thought it would be interesting to show you all the things that I'm working on in some way. So, look. I usually show this to my patrons. I, I never show you uh, my office, guys. But this is what my office right now looks like. I just received a huge <laughs> order of cardboard because these cardboard are the ones that I use on my Etsy orders in order to protect the prints and the journals and right now I just uploaded a new print on my Etsy shop. I think you guys request this. I uploaded this a couple of months ago on my Instagram and a lot of you guys liked it so I decided to transform this baby in a print. Um, so yeah <laughs> and usually this is what my weekly schedule looks like. So as you guys can see this day used to be for YouTube, but right now I can use it for working on the book and on more products for my Etsy shop. And I thought it would be lovely to share this with you guys because I don't know, just like, <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing with my life right now. So are you ready for this adventure? Let's go. One of the perks of being a freelance uh, is the whole idea of working outside and or working in a local cafe or stuff like that. And number 23 is my favorite cafe here in Old Town. And I went there to work on my book. I have, I think I have mentioned this before, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, Ed and I, my, my husband and I are working on a book about friendship friendship for adults because I realized that there's no many books about friendship for adults. Most of the books out there are um, books about friendship for young adults or kids, which is totally okay. But as an adult, you still have doubts and questions and crises and I don't know, like things with friends but there's no many places to look for information or just to talk about it. And friendship is really important. So Ed and I are working on this book together. He is writing and I, I am illustrating. This is the hardest part of making the book, guys, because drawing the pages is a pain in the ass. Because, so what I do usually is I read the text and I read all the dialogues and I take this piece of paper you see on camera right now and there are cardboard it's like a 
a little card. Usually kids use this for learn new words or like vocabulary. I use these cards to make a small version of each page. So for example, instead of making a sketch real in a real size, in a normal scale, in an A4, I use these cards to doodle really quickly what the page is going to look. So if I have, for example, a small um, I don't know, like a small change or adjustment. It's really easy to change because the size is really small and I have no idea if I explain this in this channel or to my patrons, but if in, in case you're wondering what the process looks like, that's the thing. And yeah, that's it. Oh my god, isn't this the most beautiful background ever? I have twinkle lights and flowers. Am I a blogger or what? So guys, hi, and then I just had a wonderful lunch. Now I am going to start getting ready for go to, to take the train to London. This is something very surreal, guys. The idea that I live an hour and a half away from London. Don't you think it's the most surreal thing in the world? It's really, it's really awesome. I feel really lucky, but yeah, so. That's it for now. The next station is London Charing Cross. Would customers please note that you cannot alight from the rear coach as this station has a short platform. Hi guys, so it's the next day and I realized I never told you what Ed and I were doing here. Um, last night it was my good friend Marian's birthday party and it's over now. So we stayed actually at her house and right now we're getting breakfast. So Ed and I, we should go to the veggie bread I think. Uh, yeah, I'm just hungry. Yeah, Ed and I have never been to the veggie bread. If you have no idea what we're talking about, it's totally okay. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because they have lots of vegan and vegetarian options. Center and I found the Midori sketchbook line and they have this is the cotton that I was talking to you about in the last video not in the last video but in the sketchbook video and oh, oh they're colored inside mice is freaking out with I'm this one <laughs> this is the A5 which is my favorite size for sketchbooks, but the one I bought is this one, is the A4. So in case you wanna check this out, I think they're available on Amazon. And they have another models. For example, this one is plain lined. Hi Giselle. <laughs> in case you wanna look at them. And this one, I think they're squares. So I love this brand, guys. Please give it a go. Subscribers yes. see your sketchbook. So this is mice. 
if you don't know who she is. Wee, 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 wee. Water. Your sketch was dark. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> and. Whoa. This is my beautiful last piece. It's amazing. That's it. That's not mine. <laughs> And the end. The end. a very cozy Sunday morning here in Hastings and wow yesterday yesterday the train got really 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 delayed uh, and cancelled actually in some parts of the of the way but Ed and I finally got back home at 11 ish or something like that and it was really really late but today so here's the thing guys I usually never work during weekends. That is a rule. That is a rule that I'm I have I've been trying to keep for the longest time and it's really really hard because there's always a time to work on the book or um, recording the podcast or filming videos like today. Uh, but since I am insanely and seriously delayed with the book deadline I have to work today. So as you guys already watched in this video, I am working with these cards, the cards. And this process, guys, um, composing the pages and do this storyboard, for me at least, is the most, it's not the horrible part, but it's the hardest part of doing a book. Because here is the moment when you compose the page as it's going to look in the final version. So all this is a process where I try to do my best to take Ed's text and make it as good as I can in terms of illustration. So for the rest of the day, I'm doing laundry right now. I don't know if you can hear the washing machine, but for the rest of the day, I have to do laundry, clean it a little bit, talk to my mom and keep working. So yeah, before I forget, a lot of people so i don't know if you guys follow me do you know what this is is a phone i don't know if you guys are following on instagram but i'm posting yesterday i post a lot of instagram stories and then a lot of you guys are asking me about which printer am i using for my prints for a while i mean since i opened my etsy shop i always wanted to have a printer with me because i used to go each and every single week to print my prints a while back i saved for months and months and months and I finally bought the uh, Epson Sure Color P600 and it's a very expensive printer but since I got I think I think it's the best investment I have done in this year if you are interested in knowing more of the details or like which envelopes do I use or like which cardboards do I use for my Etsy shop um, a couple of weeks ago I wrote a blog post everything and all about my Etsy shop, like my experiences and the tools and materials uh, that I use. So in case you are really, really curious to know more about the printer or the art supplies that I use, like, like the shipping supplies, I will leave that link down below in case you want to check it out. Hey guys, so it's later, but the same day and I just um, draw my calendar. I don't know if you guys know, but every couple of Sundays, every five weeks, I think, I draw my calendar. This is last month's calendar. I don't know if you can see, but I love doing this because it keeps me really organized. 
and I don't know why but I love taking a break and just take 10 minutes and draw these by hand I don't know it's really comforting and I think that it's going to be it for today uh, thank you so much to all of you who purchased this print on my Etsy shop um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much to all my patrons because I know yes they are the ones who are allowing me to film this video here with you guys. Oh, and before I leave, thank you so, so much to all the comments on my last video. Um, I can't believe how understanding everybody was. Um, so thank you so much, guys. It means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye.